tell me about my mother? What was she like? Is it true what my friends say about Indians? And what about Captain Smith? Is it true what I've heard about him and my mother? Ah, you wish to wear me thin with many questions. They are good questions. And perhaps I would not like to destroy their beauty with answers. But Matachana, um, should I be calling you Aunt Matachana? You wish to call me Aunt? Like those little black bugs that crawl on dirt? No, I mean, I mean, I wish to call you what you think is proper. You may simply call me Matachana. Matachana, is it possible for you to tell me about my mother? I know so little. Ah, your mother, Pocahontas. Yes, her story is not the tale of a great hunter or a great warrior. It is the story of a woman who lived well in two worlds. As a girl, Pocahontas would rather learn the songs of a thousand birds than work the snap of my two fingers. But faithful she was, and every morning she'd rise to greet the sun. Oh, sun, beautiful is your returning. Your warm smile greets my face. You see earth not as we do as you drift through sky. Oh. <laughs> How your mother played. Like a wild puppy, she'd run with feet of wind. Can't catch me, can't catch me, cause you're lazy as a big fat flea. We shall see, quick, go around, we'll catch her yet. Let her get away. Oh, brother, it looks like dark times for me. For once your works, for once your word, uh, for once your weeds, yeah. Get her! Ow, uh, uh, now that's her. <laughs> oh, that Pocahontas is worse than fleas. She only wants to play. Shh, silence. Don't let her father hear you. Pocahontas means one who mostly plays. This name she truly deserved. And even though our father, the great chief Powhatan, could make a strong brave tremble with a look. When Pocahontas was near, his heart would melt like snow in spring. I refuse to listen to your chatter. Keep silent. Will you believe what I found? What is it, little one? Look, I think it's full of magic. Hmm. It may be pretty, but <clears throat> it is not good enough. Perhaps this is fit for my little princess. Oh, father, it's beautiful. Thank you. I must show it to Nakomi. <laughs> Beautiful? Come now, Nakomi. Surely you must feel dizzy with its beauty. Oh, now I see that you're jealous. Then you must have fur for brains. Hey, watch it! Rough play, huh? Can't hit me, can't get me, never will, never shall. Ouch! Be nice, Nakomi, or you might not see tomorrow's sun. Oh, little friend, someday I hope you'll grow up and be nice. Strange there are no clouds, yet I hear thunder. Come, let's find this curious noise. Father, what's happening? I've heard strange thunder. It comes from that big canoe with trees growing on top of it. I've never seen such a boat. Listen, you can hear men speaking on it. Oh, beautiful, spacious skies, purple mountains, majesties above the fruity forest. <gasps> hey, Paul, did you hear that? Aye, Captain. It's some of your best stuff yet. Should I fire off another signal? Oh, very well, go ahead. But all this racket is making it hard for me to be sensitive. Oh, say, can you see? By the, uh, twilight's last screaming, um, dreaming, scheming? Captain, um, how about gleaming? Gleaming? Twilight's last gleaming? Yes! Paul 
Someday you'll be revered. <laughs> Mark my word. What strange men. Father, who are they? I have heard about such men who come from across the sea. Truly, they are ugly with their furry faces and pale skin. Wow! But such strong magic they have. What I'd give for such power. As you know, Captain Smith and his men built a village on our land. There was much fighting between our people and the Whites. You were just a little girl then. Were you scared? Ah, yes. As a wicked game, some older boys would yell, Pale face! And <laughs> we would run crying. <laughs> That's how scared we children were of the white men. What about my mother? Was she scared too? Your mother? <laughs> no. She was never afraid of them. Come quick. Captain Smith, the white leader has been captured. Get out of here. Come on! Uh, hiya over there. Yeah, a nice day for a little visit with my friendly neighbor. Ouch! Oh, hey, watch that thing. It's sharp. Go, go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get the point. I get the point. Anyone ever tell you that you're ugly? Ah, go, move it. You're sure pushy, too. Remind me never to get captured again. It's really not a bit of fun. His eyes seem strange and blue as the sky. I see no evil in them. I fear your father will see something different. Come on, let's go inside. Hiya, Chief. You know, you really needn't go to all this trouble. I mean, really. Where are you from? I'm from the world across the sea. What part? What part? Like, all of me, of course. <laughs> Stop acting like a fool. I'm not acting. Do you know you are about to die? Hmm, you're about to die, to die. No, I don't know that one. But if you can hum a few bars, maybe I can fake the rest. The spirits have spoken. The white man's magic is evil. And his jokes are really bad. He must die. Take the prisoner to the altar. How long can a man live without a brain? I don't know. How old are you? Oh, I'm 27. Hey, that's not nice. Ugh. Father, please spare him. Let him live. Uh, hey, you tough guy, huh? Well, I always say, show me a tough guy and I'll show you a coward. Well, I'm a tough guy. Yeah, well, I'm a coward. Silence! Oh, wait a minute, wait, in fact, wait several days. Wait forever! Stop, I... stop! Father, please spare him! Oh. You spare him? I mean, spare me! As you wish. Down, Graves, oh. down. It is the custom of our people that a maiden can save the life of a prisoner. Wow, I bet Captain Smith really liked my mother after that. Yes, they became like sister and brother to each other. Captain Smith stayed with our people for a while, and always he would tell Pocahontas stories about his homeland. This is a picture of London in England. This village is amazing. I can hardly imagine such a place. Oh, believe me, imagining it is far better than being there. Why is that? Because you can't smell it. All those horses and animals, all those people that don't bathe. I mean, living together in one little city. Phew, you talk about pollution. Truly, you are teasing me. <laughs> Say, is it raining? <laughs> no, no. Well, then perhaps it's a bird, a very rude bird, that's passing by. No, it's Nikomi, who is sometimes my friend. <laughs> hey! <laughs> by Jove, that squirrel is a good shot. You're not angry? Don't you want to punish her? Oh, no, no. Uh, the best way to make someone stop bugging you is to pretend you don't care. Oh, I see. It takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> oh, yes, I needed that. Perhaps you would be so kind as to have one hit my head, hmm? Uh, please, right here. Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, hello. Have you come over to make friends? Good, because I need all the friends I can get. Soon, much trouble visited Captain Smith and his friends. A big fire burned most of his Jamestown village. Food was scarce and the sickness was everywhere. Didn't my mother bring them food? Yes, your mother did bring them food. 
but this was not an easy thing. Our father, you see, was much pleased that Captain Smith and his men were starving. Pocahontas had to plead with much warmth to thaw his icy heart. All right, go. Pocahontas! Now aren't you a sight for sore eyes and a hungry stomach? Yes, we brought much food. And how is the world with you? Oh, I see. Times have been hard. Yes, my two good friends. Landon D. Free and Homer D. Brave. But let us not dwell on such sad things. Everybody, three cheers for the princess, her trusty comrades, and the three munchies! Hooray! 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 In Captain Smith's world, time danced away quickly for the young Pocahontas. Even hard work seemed like play to her. Work, work, we work all day. Too bad we don't have time to play. Work, work, till day is done. We wish we were out having fun. Run down, fiddle diddle day. My little sister has got a blister. Oh, diddly woe, dum diddly woe. My bigger brother hits thumb with hammer. Go! Oh, diddly woe. Dum diddly woe. Work, work, we work all day. Too bad we don't have time to play. Work, work till day is done. Wish we wish we were out having fun. Run down, diddle diddle day. Captain Smith was one of the very first to discover that smoking was bad for one's health. Oh yes, I needed that. Captain Smith was in a very bad way. He was taken back to England and for Pocahontas, there was the taste of bitter tears for the memory of her friend. You're right, little friend. Captain Smith could only laugh at your naughty tricks. Soon there was a time for Pocahontas when a woman looked out of her eyes. A woman talked in her throat, and the ways of a child were no longer hers. Does that mean she was grown up? What do you think? I think I'd better keep quiet. That would be good thinking. <laughs> yes, she was grown up, and all agreed that she was very good to see. May I ask the prisoner a question? Uh, why, sure, Pocahontas. <laughs> Perhaps you will ask me questions later. What has happened to Captain Smith? Is he well in England? Captain Smith, eh? Well, sad to say he's deader than a doornail. Yup, he's just a mess of worm food now. Oh. Anyone ever tell you you're ugly? Yes, but he's dead now. There was much trouble between our people and the Whites. Never was there peace, always was there fighting. Pocahontas was delivered into the hands of the Whites for the price of a copper kettle. Well, Governor, here she is in person. Uh, you must release me. I have done you no harm. My father will be the first... Your father will do as we wish. Then no harm will come to you. What is it you want? I'm sure my father will do anything for my return. Our demand is simple. We want the return of the guns he's taken from us. Then and only then may you go free. Oh, that is nothing. My father will make sure that I am here but a short time. You will see. Yes, we shall see. Many sleeps pass without word from Chief Powhatan. Still, your mother believed with all her heart that he would be true and by her release. It was not until after three moons had crawled through the heavens that any word came. Princess, I have some good news and some bad news for you. Oh, yes, finally. First for the good news. Yes, your father wants you back. And now for the bad news. 
No, he won't give us back our guns. Wh what? This cannot be true. My father cares more for me than stupid guns. Dear Pocahontas, this appears not to be the case. The choice was clear. It was either guns or you. Obviously, he loves his guns very much. Does my father mean for me to stay here forever? What am I to do? It does look like you have a real problem. <laughs> have a nice life, princess. Why are you so happy, little bird? Don't you care that my heart is aching? Oh, I see. You know what I know. When little troubles start falling like rain And this old world just laughs at the pain I sing in my heart, nothing's forever Troubles like ripples float down the river Can't shoot the moon It turns out bright with the sun shining. Cold storms can blow, soft snows can fall, yet spring always comes with hope for all. Can't shoot the moon or swallow the sun, but I can laugh till sadness is gone. Can't touch the stars or taste a That was mighty purdy. And who are you, might I ask? Me? Yes, you. Yes, me. I'm John Rolfe. Now that we have that settled, what are you doing here? Well, I was just walking by and I heard you sing and oh, it was so beautiful. And I... Uh, perhaps you should continue walking by. Goodbye. Oh, yes. You know, anything you want. No, I, I mean, can I see you again? Perhaps... Maybe yes? Perhaps, maybe no? Oh, goody! I'll see you again later then! Bye! No! I, oh, no, 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 no. I tripped! No, no, no. I said no! Oh, princess, don't worry. I have to go right now, but I'll be back. <laughs> I still laugh with the memory of your father and his wooing of your mother. Wooing? What's that? Wooing? is when a man acts very silly and sweet so a woman will love him. My father did that? It's hard to imagine him acting silly. Yes, he did. But I must also say, after men get married, they usually stop their wooing and become their ordinary pitiful selves again. <laughs> Your mother tried hard to do as Captain Smith had told her and ignore someone that was bugging her. This trick worked better on squirrels than it did on your father. Uh-oh, mud, princess, allow me, please. We mustn't get mud on your beautiful tootsies, you know. Well, you're right, of course. Excellent thinking, my dear. Yes. Uh, anyway, my coat was much too clean, I must say that. Good day to get it muddy, huh? Yes, good stuff, this mud, boy, I tell you that. Oh, I see my dear princess is hungry for a young apple high in young tree, eh? Well, yes, this apple is very high. Dangerously high. But I shall get this smart thing for you. Tra la 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 la. Ah, my love, she sings like a bird. Yes, I can't wait to see my little princess sink her teeth into that sweet apple. Yes, it will. Ah. No, this apple isn't as high as I thought it was. It's much higher. Come here, sweet little devil. Ah. Here you are, my dear. 
fresh from nature's own bounty, huh? Oh, look, there's a bird peck on it. Hmm? Did you do this? Yes. Well, then you may have the rest of it. Ah, uh, apples. <laughs> what do people see in them anyway? Huh? Ah, me. I guess I'm Mr. Blunderbrains. Oh, well. It is better to have loved than lost than to get black and blue every day, you know? Uh, uh, John? John? Do you know how to make a swing? A swing? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I practically invented swings. I've heard about the swings English children play on, yet never have I tried one. They say they make you feel like you're flying through the air. Without a single care. Come, let us swing ourselves silly, huh? <laughs> higher! Higher! Well, hold tight, because here you go! <gasps> There's like a bird! In the sky! Will you marry me? Perhaps, maybe, possibly. Hmm. Perhaps these two lovebirds will prove useful. Ask me tomorrow. Well, at least there's hope. A little. Princess, please forgive this intrusion. What do you want? I've come here to try to talk you into marrying John. I don't see what business it is of yours. But it is our business. It's all of our business. Hmm. How's that? Princess, you must realize what a union between you and John would mean. You mean peace? That's right, peace. The lives of hundreds of your people and ours would be spared if this senseless war was to stop. I, I like John. Perhaps I even love him. But, but somehow this request of yours makes it hard for me to listen to my heart. I do not like being told what to do. None of us do. However, you must remember that sometimes we must do what we need to do, and not exactly what we want to do. Perhaps my needs and wants are the same. Please leave me alone. I, I must think. Very well, princess. Uh, pleasant dreams. Oh, Sister Moon. How I hate hearing wise words from a fool. Oh, sun, beautiful. Princess? Yes, and don't you dare argue with me. Yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, isn't that the most beautiful word ever invented? Mm, I prefer swing. Now, that's truly a pretty word. You must promise to swing me silly every day. I promise. <laughs> Pocahontas soon found that saying yes could be an easy thing, but doing yes could be tough as toads. She learned a new word for pain, petticoat. They gave her a tight-waisted dress with stiff, scratchy ruffles around the neck. She wondered what demon had created this. Oh, don't slouch. Keep your head up. Smaller steps, smaller steps. When does the fun start? Nakomi. <laughs> my dear little piece of trouble. How do you like my new dress? <laughs> I am of the same opinion. But you must listen. Today I'm getting married, so you must promise to behave. How well I remember your mother's wedding. If I said this ceremony was a long humdrum occasion, I would only be hinting at the truth. But it was not without its moments of excitement. Brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, I, I mean relatives, we are gathered together in this oh. solemn occasion to witness and, oh. yes, <laughs> celebrate, glorify, extol and honor the union of this fine couple and holy deadlock. I mean, holy alimony. Oh, I mean, holy matrimony. Yes, I think I've got it now. <laughs> yes, I guess I was a Yes, I got it. Do you 
take this out, uh, er, man, in sickness and uh, in, in, in all the through the days of your life, uh, till death do you out. I do, and I will. And do you out? Ooh, uh, take this woman to have and to eat. I, I mean, in sickness and in ouch. I, do you? Yes, I do. Well then, uh, by golly, by the powers invested in me, which are considerable, I now pronounce you a man and <coughs> ow, squirrel. Uh, I mean, why the two of you? Hey, look, there's something growing on the possum's head. Uh, it's that ugly squirrel. Nakomi, you beautiful <laughs> piece of fur. <laughs> In the time of green grass, after the snows had come and gone away, the mother and father were blessed with a great joy. Come on, I wasn't that bad. No, truly you were much worse. And don't argue, I remember well. But there is hope for you. Yes. I see much of your mother in you. You do? As a child, your mother was full of mischief. She only wanted to skip and play. Yet, when she was a grown woman, she caused much good to happen. Didn't she meet with the king and queen? Yes. When she came here to England, she was the most famous of all our people. And as I've said, her story is not the tale of a great hunter or a great warrior. It is the story of a woman who lived well in two worlds. Message 